Well, the last couple of months have been relatively quiet across the tropical Atlantic. You remember we had some activity early in the season and we really haven't had much of anything since Colin dissipated on July 3rd. So we come through the rest of July and August with no name systems as we are coming into the peak of the hurricane season now the next couple of weeks as we get into September it looks like we're going to have a lot more activity to monitor. The next name on the list is Danielle, and there's a pretty good chance we're going to see Danielle develop over the next three to five days. Let me show you what we're watching right now. Several areas across the Atlantic. This just a 10% chance of development, not concerned with that. This area here in the Western Caribbean, a 20% chance for development. Uh, earlier, the GFS model was trying to produce something and kind of roll it towards Cancun. That model is backed off and the European never was crazy about development with this. So we're not too concerned with it. It was certainly something to monitor. There's a wave coming off the coast of Africa that's got a 30% chance of development that would likely track farther to the north and then off. So not overly worried about that one, but it's this one here that will be getting a lot of attention over the next three to five days. A 50% chance that it becomes a tropical system within the next couple of days, and there's an 80% chance within the next five days. Right now, it's just a broad area of low pressure that's kind of disorganized, and it's just drifting along about five miles per hour. This thing is way, way out there. You can see, uh, again, that cluster of showers and storms. Here's Norfolk. We're talking about 2,000 miles away, and all of this, while not organized, just kind of drifting along to the west at about five miles per hour. So as it continues off moving west and maybe a little bit due northwest, this area here would be a little more supportive for some tropical development. And while it is far away from our area, it will be watched over the coming week and a half or so as it is forecast to track along. We'll take a look here at the GFS model and you can see how things play out with this area here. We're watching right in here. You see a little bit of development as it's rolling along and eventually the GFS starts to get this thing better organized. This is through Saturday. Still not, you know, a tremendously powerful storm by the model guidance here, but it does get better organized and eventually gets closer. Now here's Norfolk and you see it's still kind of moving up, but watch what happens. This is early next week, Monday. The GFS the European, the Canadian, the German models, all of these global models I'm looking at, they all take and turn this thing off back towards Bermuda and carry it off to the northeast after that. So the model's in agreement with this next front coming through that that will carry this thing away and keep it offshore. <laughs> May kick up some surf, some rip current threats along our coastline, but the bulk of energy and the damaging impacts of this will remain off to see if these models hold true. That's how things are looking right now. We'll continue to keep you updated on this and all tropical development throughout the season.